all right guys we're back with more triangle strategy here today and today 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 we are going to be taking on more of the game and seeing what's going to happen with our castle now that we basically burned it to a pulp it is a little unfortunate that we had to do that to save uh roland so it appears the duchy intends to capture glenbrook But Prince Roland slipped from their grasp and fled to Wolfwood. The ink on the treaty is barely dried, and they're already declaring war. And what's more, there's a price on Prince Roland's head. It has spurred the masses into movement. They will... I see this as a wonderful opportunity. We can make it clear how we stand after the Salt Iron War. I... And I much prefer to extinguish embers than a raging inferno. It sounds like you intend to start a war. Calm yourselves. There is no need to get so worked up over this. It is true that this grave matter may one day affect Tizant. But it is in times like these that we must trust the Hierophant's words more than ever. So yeah, it doesn't really feel like like we won, because Alvora honestly had us way overpowered. She 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 had us beat. Like there, there's just no way. Like I I tried after doing the video, right? I went back and tried on a different save that I had. You know, I've been saving just in case if I have to go back and do something for before the video goes out. I've been trying to go back and I've been like, you know what? Let me see if I can beat Alvora. Cause I think I could and then I try and I'm like oh well, shoot I just got annihilated again you know what I mean like <laughs> it's so tragic dude I'm gonna buy this fleet footed one too uh, I'm gonna keep me some kudos just so I can uh, do what I have to do but I'm trying to see who do I want to upgrade Roland gets a pretty nice upgrade for his. He gets pushback. Benedict gets initial TP. She gets fire. Gear. What does fire gear do? Get grass out of to absorb fire for three turns. Eh, not bad. Heals what ails you. Prime strength is probably a stronger heal. Remain and recover. A rising range. She does need that attack up because her attack isn't very high, but. Physical counter, icy tune. And these already have their evolution, so it's just a tie between these guys and who do I want. Part of me kind of wants Sigila, because, you know, healer, extra, extra HP for her. But I think I'll do Frederica. Not disappoint. It sucks though. Magical Blaze. That's at level 20. I had hoped we'd get more of the of the medals of bravery, you know what I mean? Like I would have thought that they'd give you a bit more. So it's a bit interesting that they don't really help you with that but now we are able to upgrade our weapons because we now have the silver uh, option which is great because we needed that so yeah out of the options here I do think that Serno is probably still the best because again he is one of my DPS he's, he's really my DPS for real so I can also get another five potency boost and delaying strike or or hawk range or, or a hawk dive range up plus one so nice nice we'll do weapon damage up one but getting quality iron will be a pain i can finally get something for benedict i don't know why i haven't put anything into the guy i get more hp for now 
I'll give you more defense. And I'll give you weapon damage. But I was thinking about giving him this evasion up. But he also has ice resistance up as well. And I was like, eh, I don't know if I really want to give him that. Alright. Let's go ahead and out. And let's see what our people have to say about us basically ruining our lives. Because we're, we're, we're just, we're, we're not, we're not a very good lord. Father, please open your eyes. There is so much I wish to ask you. Lord Serenoa. I cannot let Father hear how weak I've become. I must be strong. Lord Serenoa, Master Benedict, you have a visitor. Who is it? Lord Silvio Tellior. He wishes for an audience with Lord Serenoa. What business would the Lord of House Tellior have with me? Tell him we will be there shortly. Yes, sir. Every day is busier than the last. We haven't had a moment to catch our breath. You are doing a fine job as head of House Woolfort, Lord Serenoa. Your father would be proud if he could see you now. I could not do it without you, Benedict. Thank you. Oh no, man. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't know if that's true. Oh, we have a voting phase. Okay. In short. Wish for the three high houses to join hands and fight the duchy. Is that correct, Lord Silvio? Indeed. I believe it our duty to fight. Some are frozen in fear, trembling at the mere thought of the duchy's power. I feel that joining the three high houses under a single flag is the only way to unite them. My men ready themselves for war as we speak. Come to Telior, and we can strike at Esfras together. Prince Roland will be safe with us, of course. It's as good a plan as any. You have my thanks for getting the preparations underway. I wonder if Lord Landroy would agree. I doubt House Falks would refuse a fight. Their devotion to the Crown knows no bounds. But of course. They reaped great rewards from the bountiful lands won during the war. You propose reuniting the three high houses who led the Salt Iron War to its end. It is heartening to know you would once again lend us your strength. We certainly could use all the help we can get, though I wish we could resolve matters peacefully. You speak as though your brother is not at fault for all this. My bride-to-be bears no blame for the Duchy's actions. My apologies. Forgive me for my outburst. But we haven't much time. I would have your answer now. Shall we accept Lord Silvio's proposal, my lord? Fetch the scales, Benedict. We shall decide our path together. Okay, so either we take the proposal or we don't take the proposal. Hmm. That's an interesting option. I wonder, I don't think we should because it seems like, 
Like, the thing is, right? It seems like Sylvio isn't really even about, like, our, 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 uh, like, our cause at all. Like, they've been getting, he's been getting all of this information about, you know, Ash Frost attacking Glen Brug, us having to fend off uh, Ash Frost and the army, and he didn't do anything. Now, all of a sudden, he's like, you know what? Maybe we should do something about it. Maybe. Nah, man. It seems, it seems like there's something a little bit suspect behind it. At least to me. It seems a little bit suspect to me. I think maybe we should reject. Here's what I think. So Erdor seems pretty content on the whole thing. Yes, sir. They also seem pretty unlikely to be changed. Sarah Noah. I mean, we also have to owe it to Roland too, because it is one of Glenbrook's high houses. This one would not be easily swayed. See, it seems. Like people don't want to. There's a few people who's adamant about it, and there's people who just say, like, "Oh no." Lord Serenella. I think we should. I think we should just not. Hmm. Interesting indeed. Hmm. Would they respond to a call in the arms? However, okay, let's talk to Jiva. Lord Saranoa. I'll give it a shot. Sarah Noah. Yeah, like he doesn't seem like he has our back. Like he does, he just doesn't see it. Because at the end of the day, at least the other house was ready to go. You know, they they said that they were coming. He's all like, hmm. I don't know if we should go or not. Let's think about it. Nah. If you if you really saw it like your city Like if if you really saw your city that you're a high house of and you're just thinking about going going to the saving it, nah. I don't I don't vibe with that too much. If it was somebody else's potential offer, man. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people have that idea. Here's what I think. Then it's also that bounty on his head, on Roland's head. You're onto something. Exactly. Tough spot we're in. There's a loyalty ancient. Are you joking? Yeah, after the capital's been taken. Where was he at when he caught word of the capital being attacked? Like he was he knew. He knew. He was all like, uh 
Yeah. It is time to cast our votes. Do we accept House Tellior's proposal or go our own way? Approach the scales of conviction with your token at the ready. I believe in you. You make a convincing argument, my lord. Also, it could also make it harder in the game. Not like we really need it to be more harder. <laughs> you have my vote. Forgive me, lad. Okay. The scales of conviction will illuminate the path we've chosen. Oh. He refused. He was the only person that. He was the only person the who didn't do that. Decided. We deny House Tellior's proposal and whether this fight alone. Air door was only one. Are you mad? You would stand idly by while our kingdom is in grave danger. This is the path we have chosen. I hope you understand. I do not. You must reconsider. Or else House Telior too will face Esfrost's wrath. And there's the true intention. Why would that be our? Concern. There it is. We are in no condition to fight, Lord Silvio. It is as simple as that. Then I pray something more than death awaits us both. So he wanted us to be like his personal bodyguards. Nah. Nah. We would have maybe taken his order, I mean his offer, and nah. That's just definitely not the way. Lord Silvio of Telior offers the solitary House Wolfort an ally and a place of protection for Roland. But Sarah Noah chooses to walk his own path, even if he must do so alone. Silvio leaves with a disquieting look in his eyes. Enough, Rufus. You call these men soldiers, Silvio? They haven't got any spine. Save your anger for House Wolfort. We will strike at their castle soon enough. See? Ha! Sounds like they saw straight through your stupid plan. <coughs> what could a lowly bounty hunter know of a lord's struggles? Without Roland, my house is doomed. They call you heroes, baby, right? That is all you need to. And do it I shall. The only one you need alive is the prince, right? See? See? Told you. Called it. You snake. I don't know what to expect now that Esfrost's taken over Glenbrook. 
I heard they put a huge bounty on the prince's head. We can make a killing if we catch him. I always dreamed of kidnapping royalty. <laughs> but the prince of a crumbling kingdom? They'd probably kill him if we turn him over. The reward is tempting, though. The reward is tempting, though. I beg you, sir, give me one more chance. I shall not fail again. We are already taking measures against House Woolfort. A suitable pawn has showed itself before us. Though, perhaps, I should be more wary of my own family than any other. Huh? Falks is all that remains of the three high houses. I trust you know what to do with them. Lord Landroy Fox is famed for his bow arm. He had the pluck to fire at your master during the war. Do you think you can best him? Without a doubt. Your army has entered our domain? Yes. The vanguard is nearing Castle Woolfort as we speak. It will not be long until the rest arrive. I knew his intentions were not as pure as he made them seem. But to think he would attack so soon after proposing an alliance. According to our spies, Lord Silvio has been in contact with Esfrost. There is a reason he is known as an opportunist. This was all a plan to destroy us. So he wished to secure Prince Roland to use as leverage with Esfrost. I was also told that House Tellior has hired a man named Rufus as a bodyguard. What do you know about this man? He's a bounty hunter known as Hero's Bait, whose only loyalty is to coin. That said, he's claimed the lives of countless famed warriors. It would be wise not to underestimate him. To think Lord Sylvia would hire such a man. It means he's serious. We must plan accordingly. Understood. Gather the others. We have much to discuss. Silvio has betrayed us. I suppose he has come here for me. You are correct. He most likely wishes to use you to curry favor with Esfrost. That bastard! Think he would throw his own countrymen underfoot. We haven't time to get emotional, Eridor. They are on their way here. I beg to differ. There's no better time. You tremble in with rage. As am I. We'll teach those traitorous bastards a lesson. Yet more bloodshed for my sake. Prince Roland, we have no choice but to act. And the enemy is our former compatriots. They may well know about the traps below. We may have to face them head on at the gates. We need all the help we can get. Please fight with us. This is no time to waver. We must stand together if we wish to survive. Yes. Together we can overcome this. To arms!
I might have saw something there. It feels like one of these two options are, because it seems like Hyzat doesn't have our best interest either to help. It seems like they want their own motives too. Well, we might as well get the new character before we can, uh, before we call it from that day. I can't thank you enough for accompanying me to gather supplies, Lord Saranoa. But I hope I've not usurped too much of your time. Not at all, lad. Not at all. I was heading back to my encampment anyway. More importantly, this area is rife with this frosty. I hate to think what would happen should they discover you or any loyal to House Wolford out here. Like you're not much fair to think on it either. My lord, there's someone here. He's... he's dead. Those are Glenbrook colors. He must have met his end at his frosty steel. I know him. We... We were friends. He had such praise for the blade I forged him. This blade, here. The broken one. It failed him. I failed him. And now he's gone. You are not to blame for his death. But... We are at war. I'm sorry, my friend. I'm not as skilled a smith as I believed. We risk much lingering here. Let us give him a proper burial before we depart. My lord, you needn't go to the trouble. It is no trouble. It is all I can do for him now. I shall curse that I cannot do more. I... Thank you, Lord Saranoa. My lord, ever since that day, I haven't stopped thinking about how I might put my smithy skills to better use. I didn't truly grasp the reality of the situation. What it means to be at war. What duties I have as one who forges weapons. Though I am but a novice at my craft, I will not ignore the truth I see all around me. I will face it and stand strong. That's why I... I wish to fight. Are you certain you're prepared to wield steel outside your forge? I am. I need to better understand what it means to live or die by the blade. A lesson I hope to learn by your side. Then you are most welcome among my ranks. A novice you may be, but you have the makings of a master. Thank you, my lord. I, Ian. Hereby swear fealty to you. I shan't let you down. Hmm. 
So he's a handicraft. Okay. All right, guys, and that's where we're going to end it for this episode. In the next episode, we're going to take on the traitorous guy Silvio in his army. So, see you guys next time. Peace.